the uterine tube. You can see the little things that look like pearls in there. Those are the fetus, fetuses, right? So there would be like nine or 10 on each side. We already looked and she only had like one or two on the other side. Um, at the top of this, we would find what? Can I have those tweezers over there? Tweezers in the way? That's fat, but I've got the thing in my tweezers. What is that? Fallopian tubes. I already did the fallopian the tubes. Ovary. That's the ovary, isn't it? Right there. So mm -hmm. ovary, that's the ovary. It's surrounded by a lot of fat, and there's a ligament. This is the mesentery. Remember that clear stuff? Mm -hmm. That's mesentery. This is mesentery. Everybody good on mesentery? Mm -hmm. Or mesentery, as you might have said. Um, if I go down to here, where the two come together, just like where the uh, vest deferens came together. They're gonna say that this part right here, you know, squishy thing, this part right here that I'm pulling out, that has to be the uterus, mm -hmm. okay? If I were to dig down, what's this little guy right here? Bladder. The bladder, because remember it goes, it goes bladder, uterus, anus. anus, or if we go up further and say it would be the descending Large colon on this one, large intestine one. Okay, so for here, I go in here, and it just clears some of the abdominal fat away. I could say that I've got the uterus right here, and there's already a couple of there's a fetus in there. But if I went down further and grabbed onto the tube, what am I holding? What's below the uterus? What's the entrance to the uterus or the exit? Vagina. The vagina. Yeah. Good. Do I remember that? I know you already know this, but when you see it on an animal, it's a little different, right? But also when you're talking to a patient, you can be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we know where the bladder is. So in the female, the setup is simpler externally, but the process, of course, of reproduction is much more complicated, right? So don't be deceived by the simplicity of what you're seeing, all right? Again, what is this thing? Appendix. The appendix. So that's attached to this big bag called the cecum, and then that is attached to the small intestines called the ileum. And then what are all these intestines? Jejunum. And what's the intestine coming off of the stomach? The duodenum, right? Or the duodenum. What is my probe in? Pyloric sphincter. Uh -huh. Pyloric. What is my probe in? Gastroesophageal sphincter. What's this? The liver. What's underneath the stomach? Spleen. Yeah, the stomach. The spleen is to the left. What's that organ that looks like chewing gum? That's kind pancreas. Of pancreas, right? And the pancreas's head goes into the duodenum. Does everybody agree with that? What's the name of this thing that holds the tongue down? Lingual, Lingual frenulum which is a good name for your next cat. <laughs> or just Ella, okay. Um, which side of the trachea is the esophagus on? To the left. So here I'm gonna look at the left side and I'm gonna bring the esophagus out. There's the esophagus. Good. Any other question questions about stuff right here? Anything weird? What's this tissue called? The diaphragm. Okay. Maybe that. What else up here do we need? What's the name of this? It's the hard palate. Oh. If you go back where it's squishy, then it's the oh. soft palate, right? So the hard palate. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the space between the rat's cheek? and gum, the no, vestibule, right? right that thing. And then of course the teeth are inside of gums, which are called what? Gingiva. Good. On the kidney. What's this thing over? Ureter. Right, <laughs> the ureter. And then what's this? Descending colon, what's this? Spleen. Spleen, Spleen right? Don't call it the stomach. Different from it. This is the stomach. What's this? 
Okay, you're good? Okay.